The radial mast has been destroyed, and our enemies have been dealt a crushing defeat. The witness doesn't seem all too pleased with our actions, but more so annoyed at Callus for his lack of progress in destroying the veil. However, our victory did come at a cost, as our friend Rohan isn't really doing too well. Well, at least what's left of him. Anyway, Nimbus, what do you have? Thanks for the drive. When we take on this job, get the Oggs and everything, the clock starts ticking. Ten years may not seem like a lot, especially to you, but it's well spent. It's worth it. I can't think of a single Strider that went before their expiration date. We've got way bigger problems right now. We need to get Neo Muna's defenses working again. I got reports of Shadow Legion attempting to get up close and personal with the Vexnet. I have absolutely no idea why, apart from the breathtaking views this time of Axial Tilt. But we're not waiting around to find out. That sounds like a good plan, right? It's what he would have. No, that doesn't matter. You and I are going to see this through. Ready when you are. All right. Cool new weapon. So, oh, so we need to do a strike. Okay, since the strike doesn't really tie too much into the story, I will actually pause here and resume after the strike is done. GG's. Of course. I have your weapon. And thank you to my two teammates who joined me when I started this mission alone, but you know, you saw it through with me, so appreciate it nonetheless. So, since this is done, I'm gonna cut back to Nimbus in about 3, 2, 1. Hopefully, that transition was as smooth as I wanted it to be. Anyways, what do you want, Nimbus? Sounds like Osiris is. Earlier I asked him how things were going with the green strings. <laughs> Just to mess with him. But after correcting me, he started explaining more of his theories. In great detail. And a lot of proper nouns got thrown around. So I zoned out for most of it, but he sure sounded excited, and that's what counts. When I tuned back in, he was talking about how you and him still gotta figure out how to actually master Strand. I think Rohan would have agreed, and so do I. Not because he's dead, and I automatically agree with a dead guy, although it's not like he's really in a position to argue, am I right? I, Cloud Strider Dara Danu of Neo Muna, genuinely think it's a good idea. Oh, at least you seem to have gotten over your initial sadness, right? Okay, so complete the mission headlong in Neo Muna. Now, where is this? Alright, let's just jump right into it. Let's go. Let's crush this callous guy. 
We aren't ready for Callus. We don't even understand this erratic power at a foundational level. It's time we figure it out. Keitel, we'll need your troops. Nimbus, charge up as many of the remaining turrets as you can, while Osiris helps me to untangle this strand. When I love the commanding. About controlling something powerful. It's easy to assume it takes strength. Determination. A force of will. But what I've learned is that we cannot control every facet of nature. Instead of tightening our grip, we must open our palms, accepting the ebb and the flow. Letting go in the face of grief in all its shapes. Through failure, through loss, we can overcome the impossible. Okay, so that's not a callous sphinx as I initially thought, but two things, uh, well, two things, okay? So I can't believe Ghost and Osiris just let me die so many times. And the next thing is I do love the fact that our character talks more and is so commanding. He sounds like he's really in charge of everything. Both in our conflict with Callus and in our training with Strand. But something is still missing. And we will find it together. Perhaps inspiration will strike where we least expect it. Follow wherever Strand leads you. Let's experiment. Okay, at least I have my sparrow. Let's go. Ahead. No Not a problem. A we must take this time to prepare as well. The battle will be ours soon, but now is not the time. We have never struggled harder against the greater evil. Yet, we know now what Nimbus taught us. All the products of the mind are joined in the dark. Our options and our goals are all contained within. Intact. They are the same. The same as us, the same as our enemy. What if? In trying to master this power, in trying to take control of this conflict, we've been swimming against the river's current. It would certainly explain the exhaustion. The question remains. How do you flow with the river? Change. Change like the flowing river. Imagine if it's just change. Stasis, you have to stand still and accept it. But for strand, which can be easily manipulated like the flow of a river, you need to learn to change. Who knows? I may be talking out of my ass, but you know. I wonder if there are any collectibles that I can collect. I'll figure it out some other time. Ooh. Yes, yes. Gif. 
Oh, okay, so you have to kill them in order. Okay, um... These harpies, there's two different types. Is there a pattern we need to find? Cat Ion, Cat Ion, and Ion. Okay, a bit of signs. Hello there. So if it lights up, it's cat ion. If it's not, it's an ion. Just, just, con just to confirm that. All right, all good. Excellent. That was excellent. We're really onto something here, huh? What changed? To properly observe phenomena of the light, one needs the right instruments. And for darkness. One needs the right perspective. I think we've found it. Seek out more strand and see what this new perspective offers. Oh, wrong way. Whoops. Oh yeah, we just ran one round. Whoops. There goes my strand. More strand? Yeah. Now what?
the annoying thing with you know the lack of radar is that you don't exactly know where the enemies are so you kind of have to rely on y your map hut to tell you and that's you know boring actually thought I could go in for a combo. So I kind of see that you cannot use um, you cannot use the grapple to get a punch at close range. Only at r longer ranges can you do that. Like so if I were to use it on something like this right now yeah I would have to use my charged melee but something like that. I need to have that that movement thing, that surrounding. Like I'm running in a shoulder charge animation. Whatever you call that, but I need that. Otherwise it won't work. Okay, no, I, I still need something else. I'm missing something. Maybe I need a charge melee. Strand bomb. Even after all that, it seems the Guardian's energy is still stable. Is it possible the perspective shift was all we were missing? Do not underestimate this moment. This is the product of humbling training, many failures, and your determination. But you've not mastered this power until you can bring these lessons to bear under duress. I think I know where this is going. I have a challenge for you. The Vexnet contains many pockets used for testing new subroutines. There is one very near you. Perfect to discover what you can really do with this power. Good. Can I finally unlock Strand yet? Also, many tries, like many trials and all that. It's good and all, but... It's hard to imagine that you try so hard you die, right? At least in that cutscene, but... You know, it's a game, so whatever. Besides, you know, the whole premise is that you can revive each time you die. Not such a big deal. But it kind of means that Osiris, if you make any mistake trying to learn this, you die. Permanently. So I wonder how you became so good at it. So plus plus minus plus plus. All right, got it. Plus plus minus plus plus. I killed an extra one, but that's fine. Oh, nice. Is the mission over? Maybe a cutscene. Oh, nope. This is it, Not buddy. yet. Remember, blow the river. Well, what are you waiting for? Calm yourself, boy.
Oh, must I kill everything? Fair enough. Still getting used to that. Right into the flame. I'm Tarzan, dude. Boom. Oh, whoops. <laughs> okay. So much for our hero moment with Strand. All right, back here. Giant sniping minotaur. That sounds fair. What the? Hey. No, bro, this is illegal. I will not permit such things, okay? It's kind of sad that none of my strand abilities other than my super can do anything to bosses like this. Because it would be too dangerous. Was I supposed to save my super for you? <sighs> Alright. Since this is just a fight, I'm gonna cut to when I'm done.
Oh, this fight is ridiculously long, isn't it? My God, dude. It's over. This is easily one of the most intolerable fights in this entire game, dude. I'm sorry, but no. If I need to use three to four supers just to clear this place, just no. What? Preston. I said we could go again. No. What do you think, Guardian? No. 
but Shadow Legion are on the move. Another time, then. More than proving yourself. Kellis has no idea what's in store for him. Your kind of optimism goes is what got me killed so many times in practice. Oh my god. Like, if you're asking me, I don't care that the boss is a bullet sponge. I hated the fact that there were so many enemies and there was a constant gate forcing you to run around. It was basically making it such that you have to use your strand grapple to constantly dart around the map. And towards the end, if he's about to die, he will spawn a bunch of you know, those yellow bar minotaurs that would just chase after you and kick the shit out of you. So I had to rely so much on the Laurelly, you know, the solar healing from Laurelly Splendor. Oh my god, dude. Anyways, with my slight frustration out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.